Well, good morning and welcome to the morning show here at Daryl Lorette Cafe. I'm your host, Daryl Lorette. Well, yesterday, you know what I did yesterday? I went out and got some more bananas because I just got back from the kitchen. I fixed myself a big bowl of oatmeal. You guessed it, with a chopped banana because yesterday I went and bought some more bananas. And also with me I brought a cup of lemon tea. Hey, hey, I'm all set this morning, except for the fact that I got to shave. So let's dig in, man, because I'm hungry. So you know what else I did yesterday? I finally watched Transformers from the start to the finish of the movie. Oh my God, can you believe it? I finally seen the whole damn movie after watching... The last half of it for I don't know how many times. Terrible. Right now the Matrix, the, the, the Matrix is on right now, but I can't watch it because I'm stuck here on the internet. I've seen it before, but I want to watch it again because I haven't seen it for such a long time. I want to take the red pill and find out how deep the rabbit hole goes. <laughs> Yeah, I got a pretty, pretty, pretty slap. I got up pretty early this morning. I, uh, after watching Transformers, I went to bed like at 8.30. It was on from 5.30 until 8.30, 8.35. And then I went to bed. And then I got up like about 1 o'clock because I put all kinds of stuff I put on down at the cafe, at Daryl Lorette's Cafe, down at Tagged. I put a bunch of stuff on the stoves. I think I got like nine stoves down there now, but only seven serving trays. And you can only put, if you only have seven serving trays, you can only put seven items on seven trays. So you kind of got to, you kind of got to be careful how many, you know, what you cook, because you can only, if, if you don't have a serving tray, then your food is going to go bad. So, I put a bunch of, before I uh, shut my computer off yesterday, or sometime, before, it was around 5.30, just, just iRobot was on, and I saw that, I think that was the last movie I actually saw, iRobot, on television. So, that was on yesterday afternoon before Transformers, because there's a movie marathon on right now. It's the 12 Days of Christmas on Space. So, and it's like, uh, you know, there's... Doctor Who marathon um, and uh, start well it's a Star Trek marathon on on New Year's I think and uh, just a sec here I'm getting hungry hmm so I put a bunch of stuff on the stoves I think I uh, filled up seven stoves out of nine and I put um, you know it I was trying to set it up so that they would cook until until about um, some cook for 12 hours 11 hours and, and 14 hours so yeah I was I guess I was a little tired so you know I, I I put I put I think a couple items on that were only for meant to cook for 11 hours at 5.30 or around 5.30 and so that would mean oh that would mean I've got to get up at 1 o'clock in the morning so that I don't that you know so they don't spoil and I wind up losing I, I wind up losing money I gotta get some tea here so I'm usually up, so you know, I'm I'm up going to the bathroom every couple hours anyway, all night long. So I don't get a lot of sleep anyway. So you know, I wind up waking up at one o'clock because I got to go to the bathroom. So when I did, when I did wake up, I decided, well, you know, I better turn my computer on. It's one o'clock, 
and see how close that food is, uh, you know, to being done. So that way I don't I don't lose it. So that way, uh, like I got to keep my. I, I think I just found out yesterday if um, if you don't keep your your star rating up, like you, it's like a restaurant, you know, you got a star system, and you keep it at five stars, and you got more customers coming in. And if you got food on on the serving tables, then the food is going out, and you're making you're making lots of money. So the lower your your star rating is, the less customers you got coming in, and the less money you're making. So you got to keep that star rating up to five stars. That way, you got a constant stream of customers coming in. And you're putting out that food and you're making the money, right? It's just like a real restaurant. So that you know, that's uh that that's that's one of the amazing things that I that I was doing yesterday. Trying to figure out how to how to uh how to, actually you know the, the goal hang on here. Hmm. I think right now, I'm um, just a second. <sighs> trying to talk and eat at the same time, not a good idea. So I think now that uh, I'm trying to get the um, the goal, actually the goal of the game, like I'm I'm at level uh, 33, and there's um, you know there's a there's a top uh, there's a top three. And the people, the more, the most money, whoever made the most money at, you know, in their restaurants, those people are at the top three. So right now I'm like maybe on the third page. You know, there, I think there's 10 or 11 on each page. And you visit the restaurants, the other people's cafes, and you get uh, trips. You get paid to, you, you eat, you know, you go there and visit and they feed you virtual food, you know, and you get the, the virtual chips a virtual money and so you know that's uh that's how it's working there hmm so the 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 whole point of the game i guess is that you you're competing with all your friends or all the uh, other people on the website and you're trying to get up to that uh that number one spot and that way everybody sees, you know, Daryl Red Cafe. Since I got a blog called Daryl Red Cafe, maybe they might say, hmm, Daryl Red, who's Daryl Red? Let me Google that name. Ooh, look at all the websites I find Daryl Red on. You know, it's all about being at the top. That's where you want to be, and that's where you want to stay, right? Because the guys at the top, they're making all the money. And if uh, you're not at the top, you're not making any money. <laughs> Pretty simple. It's like life imitating art. Or no, it's art imitating life. Because it's just a game, right? So it's a game, like a video game, which is kind of like art imitating life. Holy cow! So yesterday I went shopping and I was running out of groceries. I actually, when they, uh, when um, one of the girls over there talks to me, I don't know why, she just does, but um, <coughs> hang on, <coughs> emergency, a girl talks to me, oh my god, I'm dreaming about Angela, Angelina Jolie one day and some girl's talking to me the next. Actually, oh. well, well, we'll leave that for another day. So, I'm walking in the door, and, and one of the cashiers, uh, you know, let oh, opens the door and lets us in. 
think there was a couple people there, two or three, maybe four people there waiting. So, and the first thing I say is that, gee, I'm, you know, I'm running out of, I'm running out of food. <laughs> I haven't gone shopping in five days. And she says, yeah, the same thing, uh, you know, it's pretty much the same thing at our house. And it's like, oh, good. Thank God. I'm not alone. You know, <laughs> it's like, I feel a lot better now. Misery loves company. Oh, <clears throat> good Lord. So that's, that's, that's pretty much sums up my yesterday. Anyway, I got to get back down to the cafe because some other stuff is almost ready. Man, I got all kinds of things going on here. I think today I got to shave today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a razor. I bought some razors just so once in a while I can get a nice. It feels when you shave an electric razor, it's nice because it's pretty quick and easy, and you don't have to go through all the mess of putting shaving cream on and whatnot. So, but but just for um, because it feels kind of nice to get a nice, really close shave with a razor. I bought, um, because I, I still have a can of shave, shaving cream, a whole can, so I bought some more razors, just so once in a while I can let this grow, like I've got a, you know, it's, I haven't shaved since last Thursday, so I'm going to shave probably today with a razor and get a nice, really close shave, and it feels good because every once in a while, <laughs> hello, every once in a while, it you know, it's, I think because because I was um, I was talking about this to somebody, and they said you know you don't get a, as close a shave with an electric shaver as you do with a blade, and I you know I I tried it. Hang on. After you know getting a little used to the electric shaver, I tried the. Um, I went back to a blade after I bought a package and it was like wow you know that's so nice and close so now once in a while I think I'm just gonna just shave with a blade once in a while so I uh, can get that really nice close shaved feeling anyway okay well that's it for me today here at Daryl Arad Cafe I gotta go down to Daryl Arad Cafe and check on uh, what's cooking down there because I think it's almost ready so until next time, this is Daryl Arett here at Daryl Arett Cafe again and wishing you a good day. All right, catch you later.